Hi everyone. If you do not want to give out your real Gmail address whenever you sign up for a service, here's how you can create an unlimited number of Gmail address variations for a single Gmail account. The method is called Gmail plus addressing. To show you how to use this cool feature, let me just demonstrate to you with my Gmail address. So here my actual Gmail address is cputmogger at gmail.com. To create a variation of this Gmail address using plus addressing, add a plus sign followed by any word or phrase of your choice before the at symbol. For example, I can add plus AI to create a variation of this Gmail address for all my AI service accounts. I may also create another variation for my online shopping purposes by adding plus shopping. It's that simple. All emails sent to these addresses will go to my Seaput Magers inbox. But with this plus addressing method, you can easily organize your inbox or separate your emails for different purposes into different labels. Now let me test the AI variation to sign up for an AI service. Now if I open my Gmail, all emails sent by Photo AI will arrive in my Seaput Magers inbox. As you can see here, this email is actually sent to cputmogger plus AI at gmail.com. Now let me test the second variation by manually sending an email to cputmogger plus shopping at gmail.com from my Yahoo Mail. So again, as you can see here, the email I sent to cputmogger plus shopping also arrives in my cputmogger's inbox. Now, if you want to organize these emails, you can create a label for each address variation you have given out before. For example, I want all emails sent to cputmogger plus AI at gmail.com to skip my inbox and directly grouped under a label named AI. So first I'll create a new label named AI. Then open the label settings. Under in message list, click hide so that later all emails labeled AI will not be shown in the message list. You may also change the label's color to make it visually distinct from other labels. Now go to the search box at the top and make sure it is clear. Then click the show search options button. On the search options dialog, enter the address variation to the recipient address field. This will tell Gmail to filter all incoming emails sent to cputmogger plus AI at gmail.com. Then click create filter. On the next options dialog, check the skip the inbox option. Then check the apply the label and choose the desired label. You may also check the last option to apply the label to any existing conversations. Then click Create Filter. As you can see here, the email from Photo Support is no longer shown in my inbox. Instead, it is now put under my AI label. Now let me ask Photo to resend me another email to show you that it will be directly put under this label. So as you can see here, the email sent to cputmogger plus AI at gmail.com skipped the inbox and directly went to AI label. All right. Now let me show you how you can send an email using this address variation. First, open your Gmail settings page. And then click Accounts and Import. Under Send Mail As, click Add Another Email Address. Enter your preferred display name and the address variation you want to appear to your recipient. Then make sure that the Treat As an Alias is checked. Then simply click Next Step. Now if you compose a new mail, you can select this address variation or alias on the From field. All right, so that's how you can create an unlimited number of Gmail addresses for a single Gmail account. I hope you find this tutorial useful, and thank you for watching.